Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. So, it's Sunday today and I am without a video for this week and I absolutely hate it when I miss an upload. I try my best to do two uploads a week, but sometimes one upload is all you get in. When I'm trying to do TikTok, I'm trying to do Instagram, there's just, there's a lot, right? Um, and I actually have been filming all week a weekly vlog um, as well as some other content actually that's on my camera that I do need to edit but it's just getting around to editing it because editing takes so long um, and yeah I have just had the worst week ever do you know when you just you're just not you're not feeling it like you're just not having a great week like you're just feeling so down I would even go to the point of saying that I actually felt depressed this week like I I've been in an absolute state like just crying every day just not feeling myself and when I've actually reviewed the footage for this weekly vlog it just got to the point where I was like it's just so negative like I'm just crying in my car it's just yeah it's just not what i really want to point put out and i know it's nice to you know give you that reality of like you know we're all human and not all the time do we feel happy and upbeat and great and you know life does get crap and as women as well we go through so many hormones and emotions and genuinely i just feel like the week before my period i'm always like this and that is that is the week it's the week before so yeah I, honestly I've just not been in a good way and yesterday I actually went and met up with Georgia you guys probably have seen Georgia on the channel um, she's one of my best friends and we just had a coffee date right we went to TK Maxx and the difference that has made me feel in my energy I took myself to the gym this morning I have been going to gym all week to be fair because I'm on my plan so I have stuck to that but yeah we've decided to scrap the vlog and it's currently 3.42 on a Sunday me and Mitchell have had the most loveliest Sunday morning together like Sunday morning Sunday half afternoon um we went to oakham for some brunch at this really nice brunch place called larder cafe is it called i think i'm saying that right they also have one oh i can't remember where they are based but i will put them in the description because if you're leicestershire based like you need to visit the brunch is insane um so yeah we went there then we thought you know what let's go for a nice walk around in rutland water so we did that it's just been a lovely day and i need to put the aircon on guys i'm gonna have to turn the engine on because it is literally 29 degrees 29 degrees we're actually summering actually summering and it's supposed to be beautiful like the whole of the next week so i feel like the seasons are moving back in england i say this every year i feel like we're going to get a really good august and september so i know autumn is around the corner but i feel like we've got two months of summer i really do um so anyway back to the point of what i was trying to say we're gonna go and grab a coffee we're gonna have a good catch up in the car because i've left a question box on instagram and got you guys to ask me a few things and just you know i've got some things to update you with myself so i thought we could have a nice girly catch up and i thought we could go and do some shopping in tk Maxx. i did actually pick up a few things yesterday so i'll show you those when i get home but yeah i thought let's just do a little kind of like drive with me coffee catch up a little bit of shopping before it closes i believe it closes at five o'clock let me just quickly check again because now i'm like wait was that right was that right because i feel like shops normally shut at four but why have i got five in my head five o'clock five o'clock it's five o'clock okay let's get a scoot on we will do the shopping first and then let's get a coffee and catch up okay we've arrived dk max i have an hour to shop and show you guys around so let's go and see what goodness they've got in i'm so excited for autumn like although the weather's really nice at the moment and i'm really enjoying the summer as well because you know what it's like in england we never really get the greatest of summers um i am just i'm excited for the cozy season i'm excited to do my autumn decorate yeah i'm really really excited for autumn it's probably one of my favorite seasons ever because it's still like not cold is it? it it gets a bit cozy but it's just that kind of like nice temperature and you still have some beautiful days um so yeah i am so excited but yeah let's go and have a look what decor they've got this week by the way i'm going to be back on my a game because like i say that vile mood and just horrible low low place that i was last week well this week going to new week that's gone so next week we're going to have positivity happiness and we're going to get excited about autumn we're going to go in the garage and get all my old autumn stuff out from previous years see what's what's hot what's not and um yeah so if you want to see more autumn stuff or if you're new around here then yeah make sure you do stay tuned because that is all going on the channel i'm really hoping that it is open till five because you know when you're just kind of thinking to yourself 
is it wrong? Because it just seems too good to be true on a Sunday. Because I feel like normally everything shuts at four o'clock. Yeah, let's go and have a look. I'm gonna look before I go in. Oh my God, it is five, how exciting. Okay, we're switching to my phone because it just feels so much more easier to vlog on. <gasps> so exciting. Okay, straight to the autumn department. I can see loads of good stuff. Oh my goodness. We've got all the pumpkins out, guys. I don't really need any more pumpkins, I don't think. I don't think, she says. Probably end up buying loads more. Just like the little neutral ones. I feel like this year, I don't want too much orange. I'm gonna do like a pop of orange. But I think mainly I want like your woods and your brown tones. I don't think I've really done that. These are so nice, I love that one. 12.99, I might have to get that one. And that one is beautiful for 12.99. And I really love these ghosts as well. And they're only 9.99. Oh my God, look at that cat too. Oh, that one's even got a bow on. Yeah, definitely my kind of aesthetic. I've also got these little signs that are really cute. I think I've shown this in a previous vlog. It's so nice, but I feel like this is £20, which is quite extortionate. What else do we have? So many little ornaments. That little neutral one's cute too. Oh my goodness, how cute is this little garland? That is adorable. This side is very like Halloween-y, so I said it before, but there's two different sizes when you come to Home Sense. There's your pumpkins in autumn and then there's your Halloween. And I know someone, some people are like dead into Halloween and you know, decorating the house for Halloween. So the, this stuff would be really cool for that. More pumpkins over here. Oh, so cute also have so many cushions for autumn a little mushroom what's this one oh they're nothing oh look at that ghost one that's nice oh spooky i love that oh we've got some more pumpkins love those obviously i'm trying to find all the neutral vibes for us <laughs> what um let's have a look at the throws because I've seen some really nice throws online. But typically they probably won't have them in. Oh my God, that one is literally me. Cat one, it's so soft as well. There was a really nice ghost one in here the other week, but it was one of them fabrics, that, like everything stuck to it. So it just, yeah, it was a bit of a no. What else do we have? This is nice with the schools on for like Halloween, like more your Halloween style. Oh, that acorn one's cute as well, actually. How nice. I have actually got some really nice fries from last year. Oh my God, the dog one. Adorable. Yeah, I don't actually need a fry, but I just wanted to have a little look. So that's what they've got in here. And then if we turn around, I wanted to see if they had any like doorstop things, any like spooky doormats. But I don't think they have yet. Okay, next up candles, because obviously candles are essential. Um, they have so many new ones in this year. So we've got the Falling Leaves, Hello Pumpkin. I absolutely love these lids as well. How nice are those? <sighs> Smells so. Um, I absolutely love this one. I think this will really go with my vibe. It's acorn and clove. Ooh, that actually smells so good. What else do we have? <gasps> Maple Pumpkin. This is a nice neutral one as well. Oh, I actually really like that too. It's not too like, overpowering and like cinnamon there. <gasps> Pumpkin spice, vanilla. They've got so many more new ones in compared to what they had last week. I feel like they were all last year's last week. Oh, I love that. Okay, this is going to be a hard decision, but we're walking away with a candle. Oh my god, guys, how nice is this one? This is Almond Pumpkin, limited edition. I know it doesn't look very autumn and halloween it is very neutral how much is it 10.99 actually smells unreal let's do another smell okay, we're gonna smell almond pumpkin because this is a bit of me like georgia was saying yesterday when we went they all smell very similar but some of them are like more cinnamony i would say more spicy and some of them have do have that like subtle like sweetness to them. i like the ones that have a bit more sweetness to them and they aren't too like boom 
oh my god guys i was completely recording and it wasn't recording so i wasn't actually recording but i was talking to myself how embarrassing so i feel like it's between acorn and clove i really like this one as well our maple pumpkin because it's kind of neutral but it still has a bit of pumpkin i do also really like the almondy one where is it this one but obviously that isn't very pumpkin aesthetic hmm let's have a think Oh my god guys i actually have found the one vanilla pumpkin these two like they do smell similar but this i love vanilla scents this definitely has more of that vanilla in more of the sweetness compared to this one they do both smell really nice but i think i'm gonna go with this one look how gorgeous this is done deal i feel like i need to actually stop sniffing these now because like i'm putting too many into the equation and i'm just so overwhelmed this one pumpkin spice and cinnamon gorgeous actually smells unreal pumpkin cheesecake is also a really good contender still love that almond pumpkin it's very me aesthetically i've had that one before so i'm not going to get that one oh white pumpkin and vanilla i'm not really loving the rose gold on that though so probably a no guys we are down the full candle aisle now and there is so many <laughs> just when i thought i couldn't get any more overwhelmed i am fully overwhelmed now it's just too hard of a decision. I'm going to have to get a few. There's just so many new ones. I feel like when they first start putting the autumn stuff out, they put everything from last year and then slowly they start getting like loads of new things in. Oh my God, how gorgeous is that one? Oh, my apple spice. So I don't really like the smell of that, I don't think. Um, yeah, there are so many and there's also so many reed diffusers. Oh my God, like look at that. It's got all pumpkins. <gasps> Harvest spice. We have, I just got a few of these actually out. Pumpkin patch, which I love. Again, quite neutral, but love the little pumpkins in it. Also have, oh no, not that one. Autumn, no, falling leaves. That's really nice. But again, not too autumn-y though, is it? I kind of do want like a little pumpkin or something on it. I might get either that one or that one. I wish the um, reeds though weren't these because they just look a little bit cheap like you see how these are brown reeds like, i want my reeds to be brown i might have a little look to see if there's any more georgia showed me one yesterday when we was in the pumpkin aisle and it actually had like a brown thing like that on and like brown reeds and that's like i say the vibe i'm going for so let's keep looking hopefully we find something i'm also on the lookout for things for my mom because it's her birthday so yeah i want to get her a few little cute things oh my god guys vanilla almond like that is just so me you know the um laura mercier body butter vanilla almond like that's my favorite thing ever i think i'm gonna have to get that one 7.99 <gasps> i think we need to go and get a basket that's what i need to do i feel like every time i turn around there's even more there's even more guys wow I feel like they genuinely had the biggest delivery since I came in because there was hardly any candles when I came in at the beginning of the week. There is literally hundreds now. <laughs> um, yeah, literally everywhere you look, there's just new candles that I've not seen in here. How gorgeous, cozy. 12 99 I wonder what that actually looks like. <gasps> oh my God, why is that the cutest thing ever? Okay, we're down at the mug aisle because i just love a mug i did actually buy a mug yesterday with like a little cat in so i don't really need one but i do need just like general mugs for day to day i actually really like these they're 4.99 each i'm still not 100 percent sure though there's not too many autumny ones at all other than that pumpkin one there they do have some tablecloths and also some napkins which are really cute what are those ones oh nothing exciting also some table runners and some like dark orange glassware if you are really bougie and wanted to change all of that how nice are these glasses though absolutely stunning also got all this coffee syrups and we've got vanilla almond french vanilla caramel pecan cinnamon vanilla mmm sounds so good I'm always a bit sceptical though with um, coffee syrups because sometimes they just taste absolutely awful. 
they also have so much stuff in for your pets which is just the cutest thing ever i actually picked up yesterday a free pack of like the scratch pads for my cats because it was like 12.99 which i thought was so cheap um let me see if they have them in here but yeah such good value and i gave one to my mum's cat oh my god look how cute is that oh oh my goodness i feel like if you've got a dog they need that that is just the cutest thing i also love that one these aren't autumn but i feel like this is very georgia it's so funny like whenever i see things that are georgia i'm like that, that's georgia pastel pink flowers 4.99 so cute i have to walk away when everyone like anyone comes because i get so embarrassed oh there's some more autumn stuff here i'll pick you around definitely more spooky halloween stuff than cozy autumn but yeah there you go how cute an autumn notebook with the little leaf on. Um, also, if you're doing a Halloween party, definitely check out um, Homestands because they have loads of little Halloween bits in here. Um, oh, what are they? Spooky jokes. Sticker plates there. All the little plates. So many different napkins. Oh my goodness. How cute. I actually love these ones so much. I think they're my favourite. They're so cute. They've actually got loads. They've got like window decorations as well. Spider decorations, <laughs> stickers. Not gonna lie, the book aisle is letting us down today. I feel like it's more just kind of books rather than, like I love looking at the recipe books and all the coffee table books and, oh, this one's a nice one. Organised living. Love that one. But yeah, I was kind of like hoping for some nice um, cookbooks or something. Can't seem to find any that spring out to me. Guys, it looks like they are still getting so many Halloween bits out because look, that is pumpkin. Pumpkin caramel. Ooh, ooh. wonder if that's any good or not. Not sure. Guys, start more pet things. <laughs> I just can't cope with how many um, pet, cat, dog toys there are. Look at these for the cats. Here's some more around here as well. Oh my goodness. Just so cute. I just don't know if my cats would actually be interested in these though. <laughs> but cute. Okay, it's time to go and make our decision with the candles. Okay, I am back. Honestly, I don't know why my car does this. Every time I sit in it, I, mean, I feel like the alarm will go off. Like, it locks. Anyone else have a Mercedes A-Class, like the newer version, and just know how to operate it? Because it's too, um, it, it's too complex for me. Um, but anyway, oh my god, guys, I had such a successful TK Maxx Sharp. It was just, I've just needed this weekend of autumn shopping and just i don't know sunshine and like spending time in mitchell seeing georgia i feel like yeah i'm feeling much better so i'm really happy about that but i thought now we could catch up i'm gonna show you the things i bought from tk maxx i did buy a couple of things um i bought actually two gift bags to begin with let's just do the haul first actually i bought two gift bags i mean my mum's probably gonna see this but it doesn't matter if she sees her own gift bag you know i'm a neutral gal you probably can't even see my car's done it again, guys. Am I supposed to, like, turn the engine on? Maybe let's turn it... I don't want to turn the engine on. Because then it's going to, um... Actually, does that matter? Okay, first things first. I mean, you're not probably... I don't know if you're going to be able to see the grain of this. Maybe you can. But I just got this white bag, like, gift bag. It should have been £13. It's only 2 99 I just love the, um like brown handle on it i don't know i just thought it was a real nice size gift bag and like the texture on it was just beautiful but like i say you probably can't even see that um and then they had like a matching small one as well i don't even know what i'm getting my mum for a birthday yet so um yeah i need to sort that out this week because it's stressing me out but i just thought these gift bags were cute and this one should have been seven pound it was 1.99 so i got those and even if i don't use them for my mum they will come in handy right now for the goodness i didn't get like loads and loads of stuff because to be honest with you it was quite a lot of halloween stuff i found i didn't really find it to be like that all to me um or any like nice pumpkin things that i wanted i have loads anyway so i really don't need a lot the main thing i need to get this year is just candles because i've mentioned it already but i've not bought like 
had a big candle shop in probably like three years i did a big candle shop like the first year i did my autumn decorate and then i was on a candle ban because i didn't get through them all like the first year the second year and it's only this year that i think i probably have like one left so obviously it's now acceptable to buy more candles um so first things first actually before candles um you guys know i have my niece on a thursday for the school holidays um by the way thank you so much for all the love and yeah on the last vlog with my niece in we have so much fun together and i just feel like the younger generation now i just find it fascinating how much they love like tiktok youtube it's just a new era and a new world um and she just loves it that i do vlogging and she's just so excited to vlog when i'm with her so and i love it that she loves it because it's obviously my job um but yeah she's honestly just the cutest like melts my heart anyway i just love doing crafts you guys know this about me anyway um so i saw this for, oh this was 7 dollars I didn't even look at the price to be honest with you it's a DIY jewellery you get 1,200 pieces so you get like the elastic string I think through it and then um, I don't really know what you get guys but I just really liked all the colours of these beads and I know she's going to absolutely love making bracelets so we're going to make bracelets on Thursday so that is on our itinerary now for the autumn goodness honestly I can't tell you how long I was standing in the pumpkin candle aisle sniffing candles and i feel like after a while it gets a bit overwhelming you're like they all just bloody smell the same <laughs> um and i also wanted to get variety i didn't want to be all like neutral and boring like i did want to obviously get some color let me just turn this radio off so let's start with this mini one i feel like for 4.49 this was expensive but i just loved it so i got it and it's this little orange one with pumpkin spice on. I have a little mini Joe Malone candle on my table at the moment in my like, open plan dining area. So I'm thinking this can replace that one for autumn. It's just a typical pumpkin spice smell, which, yeah, love, love, love. Then I got this one. This is not really that autumn-y, but I got it anyway because it's vanilla almond, which is like my favourite scent ever. Like, if you asked me what, my favorite scent to kind of like lather myself in it'd be some kind of like vanilla almondy scent like sweet oh and this smells so good i did i did swap the lid guys <laughs> this was a pumpkin spice lid um but the, yeah the lid wasn't lid in uh, does anyone else do that in home sense i feel like you're allowed maybe uh 7.99 this one was and yeah it looks like that let me give you a little close-up we have the nice lid on and then last but not least i picked up this one which is vanilla pumpkin I just love, I just love this. It's like the dark wood that I was saying. Well, it's not dark wood, but do you know what I mean? It's like the darkness. And it'll go well with like all the woody things I'm going to put out. Vanilla pumpkin, so we've got the vanilla. Love the lid as well. I didn't change this. This was actually the lid for it, as you can see. Um, and this was $8.99, which I didn't think was bad. Some of them were like $12.99 for this size. And this is absolutely sensational. I think out of all of them, this is my favourite smelling. It's salted pumpkin praline, black don't know how you say that sugared spices rum infused vanilla cream oh my god it's so good so yeah that is my little autumn haul um i have just grabbed a coffee and um yeah we're now going to catch up we're going to catch up on everything not that i've got loads to fill you in on i also had a few questions so i'm going to answer those as well let's try this if you want to know my starbucks order by the way it's ice blonde brown sugar oat shake and espresso two shots of coffee nut free because it's too strong for me and caramel drizzle that is sensational she's smashed that today sometimes they just i genuinely don't have a takeout coffee anymore because i have my own coffee machine at home i can't justify it i enjoy my coffee at home what's the point but um i just thought for the occasion and the fact i had a free drink I don't know why I had a free drink. I got this like random message on my app like, you've got an extra 100 points because you was in a prize draw. So I was like, oh my God, busy. Because it then gave me a free drink. Anyway, let's grab my phone and um, we will go through some of your questions. Okay, first things first. Like The f most common question was like, how are you? Like, how are you feeling mentally, physically? Just how are you? Um, so if you'd have asked me this last week, I would have genuinely sat here crying and sobbing my little heart out to you because, like I say, that's why we don't have a vlog of my week this week because I've just decided 
it was too choppy like i vlogged one day and then because i was so done and upset i couldn't carry on the rest of my day and then i picked it up the next day thinking today's a new day Let, let's carry on we, we're going to be fine today do you know that kind of saying you're just having a bad day tomorrow's a new day start again i was saying that to myself every single day but the days weren't getting better they were actually getting worse so every day i was picking up my camera to vlog and crack on with work but i just i feel like with this job i've said it before but when you're not with it you can't do your job like when you're not there emotionally mentally just physically like you it's so hard to pick up the camera and be like hey like let's do this like you can't just switch that on well i can't anyway um and i just felt like it showed in that vlog so yeah and then literally friday friday was my like fifth day of trying for a new day i literally sat in the car and i just crumbled i was sobbing i was like i hate myself i i'm so down i just yeah but i don't even know like uh, it's crazy how like upbeat i'm feeling to, like today but like i say i just needed i think a good coffee catch up with georgia she's been feeling the same all week as well so there must be something in the air um so it was funny because we're both like right let's snap out of this let's go and get ourselves a coffee go and do some autumn shopping and we'll feel better and we did and yeah i think like me and mitchell spending a nice morning this morning we had a real nice like at home date night them just little things i feel the weekend was a blessing coming around um so hopefully we can take this positive energy that i've built up this weekend and take it into next week now um but yeah so i'm feeling good i'm all good but i i guess this is just a little like fyi that i'm not always happy and that's not life like we all have these ups and downs in life where you know one minute we're great and then the next minute we're not and for me like nothing really triggered it like i can't put my finger on i can't sit here and say oh that's why i was feeling down this last week other than i'm during my period like it's a week before my period and that is always for me the worst week but like touch wood i haven't actually been like that in a while but yeah I, I don't know why I was, but I was saying in my vlog when I was actually crying, I was like, I can't put my finger on what's wrong. I'm just so upset. Like, I can't stop crying. Like, I just, I couldn't, I didn't have no motivation. I didn't have no motivation for work. I couldn't concentrate and focus. Like, I was sitting down trying to do my emails, just like general emails that I needed to do. Could not, for the life of me, focus. In the end, I had to get my mum around and say, can you sit with me? Well, had to have a little cry with her. Um, but in the end, I was like, mum, you just need to sit here and just help me because I can't work. I just feel useless um so yeah she was a real help bless her and yeah like i say just all week i just was just in a real like low place and i just couldn't pull myself out of it like i think as well with this job obviously comparison it's just normal i kind of just got in this slump of like what's the point do we do people even want to watch me my videos aren't doing great i'm not growing at like, the speed i want to be growing at there's other people that just come and then they're like this and yeah you just gotta stay in your own lane though and that's all i'm doing and i love what i do and yeah anyway like i say i'm all good now so thank you for asking i hope you're all good as well and um yeah long may this happy positive laura which is normally me continue into the next week because genuinely you guys will relate if you've if you experience just like real low moods and it was low to the point last week i was like i don't even want to be here like that's how low it is and it's, it's awful like for me it's so extreme and when you're in that dark place nothing anyone can say to you like gets you out of it it's really hard because bless mitchell he was like really like trying and i was like it just doesn't matter what you say like it doesn't work i think also i've said this before but do you know when i'm due like a botox botox top up my hair extensions refitted like they're literally halfway down my hair um just like a few beauty treatments i feel like that really affects my mood as well because then i start hating on my appearance and i go through that phase so yeah i'm getting my hair done this week i need to book in for a little bit of botox as well um and yeah i think we'll be feeling good right moving on next person's put any travel vlogs coming up so my next travel plans are i'm going on a little glamping staycation beginning of september which is really exciting obviously just in england but i'm going to take you along for that it's a little uk staycay and then we're going to crete at the end of september 
for one week at a new hotel actually um, and our reason for going to Crete is we're actually wedding venue searching so there's actually something I was going to update you guys with I'm back on the wedding planning now so exciting I feel like I had a big like hiatus big break from it because we just had so much going on with moving trying to get the house looking right spending loads of money on the house well not necessarily the house but you know just buying all your furniture and stuff it soon adds up people think like oh yeah you got a new build you haven't really got much to buy or spent but i feel like when you then buy a new build you almost want everything brand new <laughs> so we've still got so much to do like the garden it needs doing that's going to be a big job but we're going to probably start that next spring we're not starting that this year now the next job we're doing is the living room because currently it's just a room with two sofas in so really excited to transform that uh, and yeah we're just going to take it one room at a time really but yeah back to what i was saying we're going crete um uh, i've seen a venue that i really like my vibe i think has completely changed i think it has so i do love the kind of like vineyard kind of like country house kind of vibe abroad however i don't really want that big massive wedding i would rather it just be like really intimate and like not somewhere that's going to kind of like overshadow your guests if that makes sense i've said this before already but like when we had our engagement party i just felt the room was too big and even though there probably was like i don't know 50 60 people it felt like there wasn't like i kept thinking oh my god like no one's turned up even though there was like 60 people there and i also just felt that people like congregated in one area so and the rest of the room looked really big and that can obviously happen at a wedding venue as well and i don't want that to happen and obviously we're not having those people anyway so yeah i think my kind of idea of what i want for a wedding has changed now i'm thinking maybe just more of like a little villa vibe than having like the wedding at a nice like villa overlooking the sea just something like that just something small sweet cute intimate close family close friends and that's it really so yeah i think i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go and look at this venue that i've looked at i am gonna try and book us in at a humor because i just think whilst we're there we need to obviously explore our options mitchell's a bit like no that's the one i'm like we're going all the way there we might as well go and look at a few and so just so we're certain so yeah that's wedding updates which i'm so excited about also question on hindus because we're now i don't know if i've mentioned this as well we postponed the wedding to 2026 so not next year year after just because there's a lot going on and i don't really want less than a year to plan my wedding you know i want to soak it up i want to enjoy it there's not really like a massive rush so with that being said when do you have your hen do i know a lot of people typically have it like five six weeks before but i just feel like because i'm asking everyone to come abroad that's a lot in itself like it's money isn't it and then some of them people will be coming on my hen do. So then if they're coming abroad again six weeks before, it's quite a lot to ask, isn't it? So I was thinking, would I be able to have my hen do, like my broad hen do next year, and then I could have a UK hen do maybe six weeks before? Is, is that a thing? Like, am I allowed to do that? Because also, we probably will legally get married, well, I was hoping to originally end of this year, because my grandma's like really got this thing of like but i might not be around next year i'm like grandma you will be like touch wood um you know she's in such good health at the moment and but obviously you just never know what's around the corner do you but you know she really wants to come to my uk legal ceremony so i need to sort out when we're doing that as well so yeah anyway let me know hendo if you think it's acceptable because i have mentioned it and a few people are a bit like oh that's not right doing it a year before but i don't i don't know like i don't really see the problem in that like obviously in an ideal world you'd probably do it six weeks before but then i do i will probably have a uk one anyway because people not everyone's going to be able to afford to come abroad and i don't expect everyone to come abroad um yeah so let me know your thoughts on hendu but i'm so excited to bring you along on my little wedding journey because it will all be on tiktok so make sure you follow me on there i'm gonna like be showing you everything from asking bridesmaids like, and doing my little i'm really excited right to host just like a little brunch or something or like a little dinner and set all the table up in my house and like have i think i'm only having two bridesmaids so like my two besties over and like doing a little set for them and like a little box oh my god i, I can't wait it's funny because i did say to daisy she could be flower gal but i feel like she's at that age now where she wants to be a bridesmaid so she can just be a bridesmaid um and then yeah like with my nephews i'll probably just have them as is it page boys you have but yeah i definitely want the kids involved because i just think that'll be so cute yeah anyway that is wedding talk let's get back to the questions 
um do you know what i've had a lot of things as well about like you guys needing advice on things um next one how's new home life new home life unreal so happy just i can't actually remember my life like living back at mitchell's house and i also now think like oh my god i'm so much happier in a bigger like space i think for me space is key when you're living in a house and i know people obviously have their opinions and think oh two bed is plenty enough room for two of you when you've got so much stuff as me and when you work at home it's not because you think like when you're working from your home you need that space you need that separation and i feel like now because we have got so much more space i can kind of separate like work from home a little bit more like i've got an office where i can shut the door and that's it and i can go in there when i'm working you know so yeah i'm just so so happy and i still i still have them days where i'm like oh my god this is my house like this is crazy yeah it's just so lovely i just i'm really excited just to start doing more of it up but yeah that's all money and expense and yeah it's just a lot so like i say we're just going to take a room at a time next question oh my god i've literally got so many questions about heartbreak so best advice for heartbreak how to deal with heartbreak honestly i probably am not the best person to ask about this because i'm i can be quite cutthroat so i feel like with heartbreak it very much depends on the situation so if you have been cheated on i always feel like that's easier because although it hurts it's like your reason to cut them off and never speak to them again and it allows you to get over them easier because in your head it's like well they cheated on me i'm worth more than that um then but then if they haven't cheated on you and just don't want to be with you but they're actually still a really nice person i think that's incredibly hard um but ultimately i feel like the bottom line right is if someone has split up with you because they don't want to be with you whether they've cheated or what they're not right for you like there's like if someone doesn't want you that should be like that thing in your head where it's like this is obviously heartbreaking of course but that's your reason to kind of get over it and that's your reason to not message them again and that's your reason to cut them off because you're worth a million more so there's not really any advice i can offer other than time is a healer and i really do strongly believe that get out keep busy do the things that like you love doing you know even if that's cozy nights in self-care and i also really strongly believe in blocking them deleting them out of your life like you can't be friends with an ex that's my personal opinion and i know some people probably disagree with that let me know if you do actually but i just think you can't i don't know unless like you've moved on they've moved on you want you're not going to be friends with them no there's no way you're never being friends with an ex you can be civil cool like you know to be honest with you if i see any of my exes i would say hi and be polite absolutely like there's no bad blood <laughs> don't know if they would say hi to me um but yeah you can be civil but friendship no forget it i just don't think you can be friends with an ex so yeah you just need to block delete remove that's what i've always done with all my exes block delete out of sight out of mind unfortunately life goes on and that, that's it so that's my advice for that any advice when you lose your best friend and feel really hurt i completely relate to this one i lost one of my best friends four years ago now it was actually when me and mitchell first got together and it's so hard because even to this day like it makes me feel really sad that she's not going to be at my wedding like she's not been around for like big big things like my 30th and things like that because i genuinely fought the world of her and love her to bits and i still do to this day like i don't you know what i mean there's no bad blood there at all but long story short it was two we fell out couldn't really see eye to eye on something and it's not that we like it's really weird like our relationship now like because we still follow each other and we still exchange like messages and stuff here and there but we're, we're not friends like we don't see each other we you know what i mean we don't hang out anymore like we don't voice note or speak to each other every day like we used to like we aren't kind of friends i don't know it's a weird situation <laughs> anyway i don't need to go into my life story and tell you all the ins and outs but yeah i basically can completely relate to losing a best friend and just that feeling of like it's like heartbreak it's like breaking up with someone it's it's horrible again it's a real hard one i just think just time goes on you have to move on and again it just depends on circumstances because 
I feel like if someone's done you wrong and you've lost a friend, then again, it's kind of easier to get over it because it's like, well, you don't need that person anyway. But when that person hasn't done you wrong, like in my situation, and they are a really good person and you would still love to be their friend, it, it is really hard. I, I'd say, first of all, it really does just depend on your situation. So if you've lost your best friend due to her doing something bad to you and you having to cut her off and obviously you really hurt by it, I feel like you can either go two ways either like let time pass and like let the dust settle and then maybe like try and reach out rekindle things and like speak about it and you know hopefully like be able to move forward or if it's something that you can't come back from then you just have to kind of remind yourself that she's not your friend for a reason and although it's really hurtful you know like i say time's a healer and in the long run it's going to be the best thing and then like my situation you might have just had like a silly argument and fell out and that's it for good um and they're actually a good person you still want to be friends the only thing you can do in that situation is like i say again maybe leave it a little bit of time try and reach re-reach out but i think ultimately if they don't want to be your friend you just have to leave it because i did try and like re-reach out with my friend and try and rekindle it and i said you know like we should still meet up for a coffee and you know like we're not bad people la 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 but i didn't really feel like there was anything from her end and i just felt that she didn't really want to be my friend again so I, I don't know like i say unfortunately like life just goes on and it just has you just have to kind of accept it and it's hard it is so hard but yeah it's all you can do really someone's asked as well what would your dream career be if you could do anything dream career would probably be having my own business and i'm not going to say what it is because watch your space no not really watch your space i'm not planning anything but one day one day really want my own business guys like i want to do something but it's just doing it but maybe who knows that's an interesting one actually if i could do anything like if i could have my own company and like have like my own like online shop let's say well not a shop but whoa 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 i've just built my coffee on my white trousers why am i this person job i haven't got cream seats and to be fair it's on the lever so mitchell if you're watching don't worry but that is not good um but anyway quick question for you guys if i could do anything like if i could bring you a product or bring you something what would it be like what would you want to see from me let me know um so i'll leave that there yeah anyway i feel like i am rambling and chewing your ears off um i'm gonna end the vlog here because mitchell is hungry it's half past five i don't even know if i'm gonna get this vlog up i really hope i do um i'm gonna end it here i'm literally sweating let me put the aircon on now because oh my god look how shiny i look anyway guys thank you so much for watching this vlog i well has it been a vlog i guess it has kind of been a little bit of a vlog hasn't it i've redeemed myself let me just put this blower down i've redeemed myself for not bringing you the normal weekly vlog um so yeah at least i've got something out stay tuned for next week because i am going to definitely bring you a weekly vlog i've also got a beauty organization video that i literally filmed like three weeks ago now and i've still not edited which needs to go live and then i'm gonna try and bring you free videos we'll do like a nice autumn video together mum's got a day off tomorrow and as you guys know i spend mondays with mum and we go and do something i normally have like half day in the morning of working and then we go and do something nice and it's supposed to be like the hottest day of the year tomorrow so i'm gonna have a little look what we can do tonight and i'll bring you along for that as well but thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you're all doing well as well um and yeah i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye